Hello, my name's Luke Hebbs and I'm from RLR UK. Welcome to my eighth video demonstration of Trust is Rapport, uh, demonstrating how Rapport can actually combat spyware on your machine. In this video, we're going to look specifically at the Amacisco Invisible Keylogger Stealth tool. Okay, we have at the moment Trust is Rapport version 1003.5 actually installed on this machine. Now, the IKS keylogger is actually going to be trying to record every keystroke that uh, we make on this machine. So let's just have a quick look at it now. There are several options here, we're just leaving them as the defaults. Let's go and have a look at the current log file, there's nothing there. Now, IKS actually has um, a 100 key press buffer, so in order to show you um, what's actually being logged as I type here, then I'm going to have to actually type some additional characters to make it come through more quickly, otherwise we'll be waiting for it to come up to time out. So anyway, at the moment the, um, the keylogger is empty. So let's start up Internet Explorer and we'll navigate to one of Trustee's partner websites. You can see that Rapport is actually installed at the moment because the grey Trustee icon is in the address bar. Okay, so let's go to HSBC personal internet banking logon. Now I typed all of that in um, because I want to show you that the keylogger is actually working at the moment and it should have logged all of that. Now as I say if we go to um, IKS now and go to look for the log it's showing nothing because we haven't hit the hundred keystrokes yet. Now as I say we could wait, we could sit here and wait but that could take rather a long time. So I'm just going to start up Notepad and what I'll do is put in a whole bunch of uh, uh, full stops and hopefully what we should see is that um, IKS will actually come up and show us what we've typed in so far. Okay, so I'm hoping that that should be enough um, key presses at the moment. So let's, let's just have a look now. See what IKS has come up with. And there we are. So we have at the moment, um, the important thing is I closed down a couple of dialogues before, the Alt F4, but you can see there that it's logged HSBC Personal Internet Banking Logon. Then the R is from when I pressed Windows R to bring up the Windows Run command to um, use Notepad, and then obviously a whole bunch of um, full stops that I typed in. Okay. So it is logging what we're typing into um, the web browser. Now let's actually go to HSBC's site. So we'll go to login here. And on this login page, I don't know if you can read it there, but it says, welcome, input internet banking user ID, e.g. IB12345678.90. Okay, so I'm gonna type in exactly that, IB one two three four five six seven eight nine zero then log on now rapport is asking me um, if I want to protect this user ID it's detected that there is a user ID it's asking me if I want to protect it so that if I start to enter it into another website then it's going to warn me about that uh, it's one of their anti phishing controls so I'll say yes I want to protect that now here I'm log logging in as uh, IB12345678890. Please enter a date of birth. So I'm going to make one up here and do um, the 12th of the 3rd, 1964. So 120364. And it's going to ask for the first, second, and fourth digit of my security number. So I'm going to literally just type in 1, 2, and 4. Okay. Now I won't continue on that now because obviously that isn't um, uh, a valid login. Now, at the moment, we probably haven't typed in enough text to actually bring that up um, with IKS. So now I'll bring up Notepad again. And what I'm just going to type in here is end of test. Okay, and then just start um, adding in the um, full stops again so we can get to the 100 key presses and hopefully it will show you the, um, the log file. Okay, just a, a few more full stops and then we should have got past the, 
the limit anyway now. Okay, so let's have a look. We won't save the changes there. And let's go again. Now, what you can see here, I'm going to have to explain this a little bit now. Um, so, originally we typed in HSBC Personal Internet Banking Logon. Okay, we saw that before, and then these are my full stops to actually um, bring the log file up so I could show you before. What we now have here is uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Now that is what Trustier, Trustier's rapport rather, um, actually changes what I type uh, into. So on a new web page, as I type in, any text I type in will just be um, A, B, C, D, and so on and so forth. Okay, it will always start from A and carry on. In, and it doesn't matter what order I type the letters in. So you can see that here, we now go on to a second, the second page, where I typed in 120364, that's come out as A, B, C, D, E, F. I then tabbed to the next, um, to the next box, and then I typed in 1, 2, and 4, which has come out as A, B, and F. Uh, the R is when I brought up the Windows Run command to bring up Notepad again, and then there was a space in the end of test, as you can see there. So it's successfully logging uh, within Notepad and under Google, for instance, uh, so non-partner websites of Trustier. But as you can see, it's actually protected the data that I typed into HSBC, one of Rapport's partner websites. Okay, and that's the end of this demonstration.